G'day mates, and welcome to Führerreich. Because apparently alt history wasn't enough for the Hoi4 fanbase, they decided they needed alt history of the alt history world. Of course, the other realization was the fact that there's no fascists in Kaiserreich, and they decided, well shit, we'd better make our own. Apart from Dresler, we obviously have Charles Curtis, we have uh, Hirohito, who's in every single mod ever. He's actually, you know what, he's looking a little bit better this time around. We have a White Walker, and <laughs> Umberto the fucking Turtle. We are playing as the German Volkists because of course we are. And if you've ever played Kaiserreich, you will notice that this is all very much similar because the Führerreich is pretty much an adaptation of the same mod uh, using the same code. Such like It's like the famous quote from Isaac Newton who once said, I'm still in your code, bitch, and making it better. And you know, just to really one-up Kaiserreich, not only did they have to start with a four-way fucking civil war, but they had to start with the enemy units being side of the territory of the other ones, just to make this disgusting fucking mess. And of course, there's an immediate Indian rebellion. It's just... Oh god. One of my favorite parts of the mod, having not even properly looked at it yet, is just this fucking flag. I want to know... What sort of person came up to their government or their group of people? They said, you know what? Okay, we've got this into allied Rhineland. We've got this place that's being managed and controlled. Okay, all right. It's, it's being looked after by a bunch of different people. This is the flag that we're going to use. I want to know how the fuck they didn't shoot that guy. The Rhineland is sort of like the legation states in uh, normal Kaiserreich in that it's sort of balanced between different powers and has to decide on which way to go. Uh, but all, at the end of it, it becomes militarized in one way or another. I like the watch from the Rhine, that's quite nice, that's not the name for that uh, focus. The king is dead and so let's actually have a quick look at Britain. One thing I noticed when I was testing this mod is how fucking ridiculous Britain is. So I always make the joke that UK uh, in the base game is basically a warmonger if you lead them, uh, leave them for long enough. They'll always end up declaring war on everyone. And if I could scroll right... Oh, down, sorry, I can show you this. The Imperial Burdens line of, uh, of the UK results in them in declaring war on the United States on, after stealing a bunch of their land and Panama. Uh, they declare war on most of Arabia, I believe, as well, and Persia. And they also declare war on, uh, hang on, we go down here, it's all oh, the Russian SSR, and then down here they declare war on the French, and down here they declare war on the Germans. I... Holy fuck. Britain. Britain, please. <laughs> please, no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wow. I found the Dutch state. And literally the best leader so far. This guy, Bernhard of the Netherlands. I'd burn hard for this, man. Holy shit. So to start off our tree, we have to go down either purging the army officials or the democratic sy uh, sympathizers and then uh, purge a major official, which could be Hermann Goring or perhaps a weasel. And then we go down uh, Oaths of Loyalty and expand the TST. From there, we can do ever. Oh, you're not allowed to see that one yet. I like that in white Finland that the leader is certainly sticking to the dress codes. So to give you guys a quick idea of the factions, you've got the Continental Entente, the Stahl Pact, the Imperial Protection Alliance, the Third International, and I do believe that that is it. Yep, at least for now. <laughs> Just in case you weren't sure the mob was in Alpha, test, 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 Oh, fuck. Appointing a new economic minister. Hitler's the man. He's never been wrong. FBI, open up. Okay, I'm kind of confused, Hitler. Um, Hitler has a focus where he can sell arms to the Poles, but he can't sell arms to the Poles if the Polish don't exist. Is he selling them to, like, the resistance if they're eventually created? Can... Or is... I... Is he just selling them to Polish people? Is the Republic... Why can't we sell guns to the Polish? Hitler... Hitler... I... Have you have you got some problems with them? Have you have you got an issue with the Polish, Hitler? I like that in this universe we just really couldn't decide who owns Swellwiggy Holystein. So we just decided to make it its own state. That seems to happen a lot in this one. Rhineland, what the fuck are you doing? Get back in me. ruh -roh. So it turns out letting Swellwiggy Holstein go on its own is not a good idea. It's just become communist. Great. 
You know it's a good game of Kaiserreich when there's five civil wars going on and it's not even the end of 1936 yet. Oh, God. oh sorry, sorry, hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. The civil war in Brazil's just gone three-way, because why the fuck not? Mmm! Smells like Anschluss! Well, this is fun and not at all confusing. The Baltics have declared we're in the, uh, oh, the now Soviet Union. And along with them, a nation with literally no name. Just nothing at all. It's not even like a bug where it's like, oh no, there's still, no, there's just no name. Same color, no name, has also declared war on them. Um, I feel like it, m they may be doomed, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of rooting for no name here. I kind of, oh, 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 oh no, oh no. So it seems like the Weltkrieg, uh, Führerkrieg is gonna begin over Denmark, because, unfo- wait, hang on a second. Oh wait, hang on, over the Calzone, that's now puppeted by Denmark again. Because the French decided to die for Denmark. Well, I mean, here we go. Enjoy, Rommel. You're gonna smash them to bits. Just gotta hold the line against the Germans, uh, sorry, against the French and the Italians, which, frankly, seems to be working totally A-OK. -okay. Wow, this is, this is going great. The Second Great War. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Smashing through the, uh, Danish. What's this, the colonial government of the equatorial Africa is, uh, Africa is now getting involved. But whatever happens, they cannot push my line. I'm gonna let them die, you know, smash their heads against the line for a bit, and, uh, and then eventually we'll come through and we'll clean them up at some point. For now, I'm just, you know, doing all the fun things in the north of you. What the shit is this? Rommel, you fucked up your invasion, mate. By the way, in case you were wondering why I was starting this whole war, I just wanted to do this focus called Tax the Keel Canav- uh, Canal, rather, because it just looked kind of fun. Like, there's a bunch of people who get annoying messages, and that's kind of fun. But, uh... I may have started a world war over it, so, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? Why has the error dog been replaced with what looks like the top of Theodore Roosevelt's head? Is that actually... Okay, no. No, you're, you're not. Oh, you're Quentin, but still, what the fuck? Why was... What? Whose head was that? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 for fuck's sake. <sighs> Someone's gonna make it, aren't they? Someone's going to. Because you're all meme fucks and you can't fucking contain yourselves. So I did the whole Shefflin Belgium attacky invadey, uh, but immediately they noticed and Belgium became part of, uh, of the, uh, fucking what do you call it? International. So I'm gonna quickly try and stop them from fucking up my plans by just attacking. Excellent! I assume the Maginot line still exists. Oh, oh, it's like a half line, okay. No, 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 stop them from- stop them from sending support. Is Luxembourg in? Hang on a second. No, it's just allowing- Oh, no, it is. Belgium is already gone. Wow, that was fucking fast. Alright, Rommel. Let's roll in and fucking clean up, shall we? This is just- just repeating history, isn't it? It's beautiful. I fucking love it. Oh, they were too late. They were too late. Oh my god, look at the encirclement, holy shit. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, you know who'd be proud? Probably someone in a very normal universe. He'd be very proud of what I've done here. R slash hoi4. Hey guys, are we still doing encirclement photos? Look at mine. So many Frenchies in such a tight, tiny ball. Hmm. Yep. Oh! The government of France has collapsed. Their weak army was no match for ours. Ahem. <clears throat> Celebration! You know, they do say history repeats itself. I mean, I really do feel like the Italians should have seen this one coming, though, so. Wait a second, what? Holy shit! So I'm building the, the dam, the Danube Dan, and. Dam, rather, and the French planes have been spotted over Austria. Unidentified planes that were quickly identified as French aircraft, and their objective was our glorious Danube Dam. <laughs> what? This is amazing, actually. All right, let's see. <gasps> the French have been forced back. Yes, there are a few remaining pilots fly desperately back to France to afraid to f uh, to fight like real men. The courageous German pilots who made this victory possible will be welcomed home as heroes of the Reich. 
Many of these, uh, like these, show once again the dominance both Valkism and Germany have over Europe. Ignore the fact that the French appear like they're coming back. I'm just gonna run over the, the Italians first, because, yeah, their army didn't disappear when they surrendered. It's still just sitting here, and it's really fucking big. So get da da da. You stay in your little fucking holes. What the fuck? So Italy didn't surrender, but it did. But it's what the fuck? Because this is disgusting. Do I need to re? Did they like half surrender and then come? What the fuck? Game, why? Just in case you know, <laughs> you don't think this mod really hit on all the points. Uh, the Jewish Commonwealth is in fact a uh, a nation, which I'm sure, I'm sure won't appear in any YouTube videos to come. In any way, shape or form. So as far as I can see, once you actually knock out uh, France and Italy, the reason why that weird thing happened is that they returned their colonies overseas. I looked back up north and Poland was... Polanding. Yeah, this went about as well as Poland could have expected. But, um, thanks for clearing up one of my goals that I was gonna get to after I've dealt with these fucking colonial bastards. Oh, something's very fucked. France just had, like, 2 million or, like, no, like, it was, like, 30 million manpower or something? I was like, what the fuck? Now they have minus 1 million aircraft. If I keep looking around, will things change? You've got 40,000... Hap oh, you've got minus three million. Half friend, okay. No, you've got 40 million again. How is France doing this? So I just tagged over the French and apparently, yes, they do. They have 40 million manpower out of a... So, oh, oh, it's because of their aircraft. They're doing an aircraft glitch. There's some, so basically one of the easiest ways to spam and like steal manpower is to uh, open and close aircraft stacks, like, put, put it into aircraft and then get rid of it, right? What the fuck? No wonder I can't get air superiority. France is creating infinite manpower with these ridiculous fucking fighters. Uh, I'm gonna delete these and hope that fixes something, because what in the living fuck, France? So at this point, I believe that the Kingdom of Italy is completely impossible to defeat. They don't appear to actually have any land left. Uh, I assume they've got some divisions somewhere. Nope, looks like this- oh my fucking god. I just looked at India. There we go, gives us the peace deal. Oh yeah, we're ahead, and uh, oh, we actually already own all of Europe as well, so we don't, we don't even need to claim it, but uh, you know what, we're just gonna grab what we can. Alright lads, that has been Fuhrerreich. I don't know how Zapadozoslavia has lost most of its land. I don't think I took it, but it's lost it nonetheless. Sure. Obviously the Russians are at war with us, and I'm just gonna cheese it because I can Romanian border. Basically I can put them as a border, and then when I'm ready I'll declare war on them, but I don't particularly care because I think I'm good and done. What the shit has happened here? You've gone national populist. Of course you have. Thank you for watching. This is actually a really fun mod. This mod is got a very well, few well-made features. Uh, it's got some bugs still though. That is uh, very much to be certain. Germany is fucking strong, like so strong. Early game, I was able to pump out tank divisions, and I had like air as well. I had navy equip uh, equipped. I was not hurting for political power. I was like, Germany is just so fucking strong. I was able to solo France and Italy, and also. What was it? Belgium and Denmark and some others. It was amazing. I guess maybe if the Rhineland goes against you, it might hurt a bit more, but who knows? That was a fun game nonetheless. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Farewell.